What do you see and what do you hear in this clip that you think is at the heart of POLs, at the heart of what we're after when we're doing POLs, okay? And we'll, we'll collect a little of that um, as a way of kind of defining the essential question that we're trying to get at when we look at Ted and Kay's rubric. How can our rubrics get us to what is at the core of POLs? Okay, is that clear? Here we go. What are the habits of the heart and movement? They aren't just habits that are mastered through continuous practice. They are habits mastered by connecting the heart to the mind. Here is an overall design. We have, we have the overall structure. Here are, it's different levels. There's aquarium walls. It's just incredible. We got to choose what we wanted. The main thing about this project was how we split into groups. Although he had the note cards, there was a point at which it seemed like he went to some some place within himself that was yeah. not on the note cards yeah. and tried to bring in okay. um, connections that he had made. And then also, I felt like he had almost like a moment of learning within his POL, yeah, okay. where he saw, oh, a light went on, and he made a new connection. It's like the world, you know, uh, a country. Some work on this, others work on that, but in the end, they all contribute to the same thing. So the habit learned here was cooperation. I did not mention mindfulness, and the reason why is because I am not very good at mind being mindful. Why do you think mindfulness is so hard for you? You know, I'm not even that sure. I guess it's because uh, I don't like seeing the world how it is. Because, I don't know, sometimes it's boring. I like to dig around and imagine things. Like, right now I would imagine you all as like exotic wizards or something <laughs> like that. Just, I don't know, to make it more interesting. So I do that too much sometimes and I go off in like, some dream world or something, and you know, I kind of leave this world, and things happen, and I'm not here to see it. And that's not something that you know, like he wasn't prepared. Right, 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 right. I was super prepared. Yeah, that's right. This is the drama, yeah. But also seeing how he could harness it. made a good point. She said he felt safe to yeah. share within his environment with yeah. something about the culture. Okay. Very, but also, very, this very, student, yeah. he just, I don't know, he went inside himself and talked about it. He was okay with that. Okay, are we ready for the next one? <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I've always been impressed with your imagination and the way you dream. I'm really glad that you, you feel the determination and act upon those. Uh, what would you act on first of one of your dreams, if you care to share? Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> this is gonna sound silly, and I'm starting, I'm starting to do it actually. But um, uh, <laughs> or ever since I was little, I've always wanted to be um, on Disney Channel. <laughs> and um, um, on the new, when New Year's came, I decided I would try my best because I'm not getting any younger. So <laughs> um, I started going to acting classes with my friend Angela, and now I'm in an acting class. And I don't know. I hope that's one little step that will take me closer. No, at least I'm not doing, I'm not just standing here doing nothing. And I hope to get a role there or something, someday. We're talking about these, these balances. People, how real is it versus contrived? We don't want contrived POLs. We want them real. I mean, this is, I think, something we can all decide, mm -hmm. agree on. But then there are these other balances that we have to strike. And it's not <coughs> one versus the other. But what is the right balance between presentation and dialogue? Uh, in our POLs. What's the right uh, uh, balance between accountability, tell me what you know, and reflection, tell me more about, give me some evidence of this, talk about what you're learning and what you've learned and so on. So it's another balance to strike. And then we're looking at many possible structures as ways to get at that, and the rubric will kind of reflect the structure that we choose to get at the balances that we want. You have passed your PLO. Um, we had, there were a little bit of errors, but I mean, overall, I was excited that you were taking risks in your POL. Whenever you take a risk and do something different, you have to be sure, polish it to death. And so it pulled off a little bit shaky, a little bit rocky sometimes, but I thought you did really outstanding, and you, you definitely meet our standard for what delivery should look like in a POL. 
Um, your evidence, I think you set yourself up well with your DP and your work samples, um, but leaving out parts of the speech um, really hurts you here. So you meet our standard, but um, that is one of the reasons why we could not say that you could exceed it. But you did well with your evidence. Your reflection question and answer was awesome. Very, we know that about you, and that's where you, I knew you would shine. Uh, you're very uh, honest. I think you're a wonderful person. I love uh, your dreams, and uh, I really am excited about where you're going to be, where you're headed, and uh, taking the acting classes, I think, is a great step towards uh, getting to your dreams. I think that's wonderful, and um, so great job. Great job. I think this might be the first time I've seen it. Um, is immediate feedback. <laughs> Usually you just power through some presentations and then they get a grade for it later and if they want to sit down and talk to you about it, they can or you have some sort of, um, you know, something you give them to them later or, or yeah. it's a conversation that's happening at a later time. So yeah. I think it's interesting having that conversation about yeah. how they did immediately after um, the presentation. So yeah. I don't know if anyone else has seen that, but I, that's the first time I've seen that happen. I think it's cool yeah. because Oftentimes we'll talk to someone about their TPLs later and they'll question like, are you sure I didn't see that? Like I thought I talked yeah. about that or, yeah. or I thought, oh, okay, I guess I did You know, so I don't know. I yeah. think having it immediately is kind of cool. What I thought about that was interesting about that immediate feedback also was that I know just from having been in there that there were other students in the room during that time. And so other students are hearing a variety of, of types of feedback even if it wasn't theirs and so you know, there's, I think, unintentional growth for, for those students that was happening from that as well. Yeah. Look at the draft rubric with the same question. What do you see in this rubric that you think might get us to the core of what's at POLs? Another question. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's just no way to scare me. I like just how the time is laid out, laid out where it's like two or three minutes for presenting, but the bulk of it is really on creating a dialogue. I think that sets it up for a conversation rather than a, an accountability. Talking about the dialogue again, uh, or the conversation, I like, again, the balance that you put. You want to be comfortable, but you want to be professional. Um, once you be comfortable enough, to, I believe that you're saying, so we can actually have a meaningful dialogue, but you have to be a professional. There's certain protocols you must meet if we're going to have this as you're going to get scored on this. So I like that. It's good you guys picked on the things that we really we really put a lot of thought into and we really debated about putting in and, and, and changing you know, the community members and you know the panelists, you know, why would we do that? And then uh, well that's a good idea, you know, they can ask questions as well. Um, so what the effort was to also um, encourage the substance of it and not the flash and everything. So. And I think like what we're really hoping to get at is something that's really important to me is authenticity. And I don't want to ever see a student doing a TPL just because they have to. And we feel that by creating an emphasis lot in the dialogue, we are engaging with them. And there's, there's give and take. So it's not just, well, let me meet these different standards that you said I had to. It can actually, we can dig into what they have to say. And I think it's all going back to authenticity, which for me is is one of the highest values in what we do at High Tech High, because it's real and that's why it matters.